Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. In this video, we're gonna go through some of the tips and tricks that I've discovered using facial motion capture. Now I'm gonna be using the Reillusion Suite. If you wanna pick it up, link in the description, but let's kind of just start going through the process of things that I've learnt and hopefully pass them on to you. Now, this was gonna be my last tip, but I actually got to do this as my first tip. So this is more targeted at men. However, some women, not gonna say anything. But tip number one is to have a shave. <laughs> I'm regretting this already. <laughs> so this will just kind of like help with the camera or the sensor, whatever you're using. I'll be using an iPhone 12 to do facial motion capture. It just helps pick up your features, your jawline, so on and so forth. So the question is, do you like me with a beard or without a beard? Leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, helps me out, and it helps me produce this kind of content. So tip number two is read the documentation. I know it sounds silly, but you'll be actually surprised how many things you do wrong. And it took me a little bit of time a year for me to actually read the documentation. <laughs> tip number three is more about setting the rest pose and kind of be wary of what you're actually doing. When you set the raised pose with your eyebrows up, the application will think that your eyebrows up will be the rest pose. So when you go into your rest pose, the eyebrows actually come down. So if you're finding that your character is always kind of like frowning, try and give yourself a little bit of a frown when you're setting the rest pose, and then you'll see his, the eyebrows will be up higher. This goes with all the features, kind of like maybe even the mouth features. Obviously, if you start off smiling, then when you drop down, you the character will automatically be into a frowning mode. So another tip with the facial motion capture is make sure you have even lighting. So at the moment, it's not really even lighting, but when we go over to the phone, you'll see that I'll have like a camera um, light up here. I've got the light up here. I'll probably have this light off, this blue light, this purple jazz I'll turn off and I'll have my light up here turned on. So there's gonna be lots of lighting around. Now, the reason for that is, is I think that kind of like, it's not only the sensor, the, th uh, the 3D sensor that's picking up the information, but I think it's also a little bit about color as well so having a shadow kind of cut across you i would found does kind of influence a few of the jitterness so that's just something to be aware of so those are some really quick tips that i've discovered and hopefully they will help you out once again if you haven't like and subscribe let me know about your tips though what have you learned doing facial motion capture if you want to pick up any of the stuff that i've been using please use the link in the description it really helps me out and helps the channel grow some more as well and if you haven't already where i'm putting all my animations is over on the dead set digital youtube channel so go over there and like and subscribe